Back so soon? Hmm. Let's see how you do with something important. For too many years, GDI forces have maintained a stranglehold on Egypt. It's fallen upon us to liberate these citizens, crying out for a better way of life. Cain wants to establish a base here to eliminate the smothering presence of GDI. It's too risky to move our heavy forces in, so we want you to sneak in with a few expendable troops and set up a forward attack post. Uh, by the way, there's more than enough Tiberium for you to harvest. That should easily pay your expenses. If you are detected, you fail. If you fail, you die. What is up everyone, here we go. This is mission two and our first base building mission with the Brotherhood of Nod. Now, you may have noticed the first level of the Brotherhood campaign went by pretty quickly as it did the GDI. Second level's gonna go by pretty quickly too. Nod levels, the Nod campaign is actually shorter in terms of my recording size. Um, it is harder, but it's easier to cheese. So once you know the strategy for each individual level, you can clear the Nod campaign quicker than you can the GDI one, because there's a lot less base building involved in the Nod campaign, which is a shame because I actually prefer playing as the Brotherhood of Nod. Anyway, the starting units it gives you is more than enough to put a threat onto the main GDI base, and you can very quickly remove the construction yard from play. The Humvee that I got placed on the cliff side, you may have seen he was shooting the confused AI units. A little bit of microwing here could have kept all of these um, non buggies alive, but at this point, all I need to do is just train more infantry. GDI are going to continue pumping out as many infantry as you allow them to, especially now they don't have their construction yard. So it's all about just counter swarming them. Uh, some players like to use engineers, I don't personally. But uh, unlike most of the games you've seen us play so far, Command and Conquer is a high casualty RTS. You're expected to lose many units, and nothing highlights that more than when you play as the Brotherhood of Nod. Um, I do prefer the Brotherhood of Nod campaign, as I've said, I like playing as the Brotherhood more, and I'm really excited to show you all the Kane cutscenes, because obviously Kane is a notorious Command and Conquer character, um, one of the reasons the series took off so well and is uh, phenomenally acted by Joe Kukan. So I'm really looking forward to showing you the character of Kane as we progress through the Nod campaign. You've seen him a little bit as part of the GDI campaign and it's worth remembering that because he actually appears in a similar cutscene uh, in the Nod campaign. But otherwise, all we're doing now is just clearing up this map, and mission 2 is just as easy as mission 1 thanks to the starting units. So I'll see you in the next video. Mission accomplished.